Welcome everyone. Welcome once, back. Once again to the Husky Barbus podcast. The one that was missing from last week, he's back. Say hi. I'm back. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? The Muppets? <laughs> Okay, Jonathan is back. Uh, in case you didn't get the memo or didn't get the clue right now after me spelling it out or throwing an addition in your ears, not in your face because you're not watching us. Anyway, we're back, I guess, in full force. <laughs> it's been a week. It's been a week, yeah. Oh, my God, it's been a week. What a week. What a week. What a week. What a week. Monday was awesome. Oh, yeah. That was the greatest day. And tomorrow seems to be on going on that same route. Yay. What is it you always say? I love my job. My yab. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's, let's, let's not go there. Anyway. The words of Bar Scott. Can't wait. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so how was uh, your uh, time off? Uh, you had some time off due to issues. Issues? Well, no, I wasn't here last week. Uh, don't buy a house, people. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there. Don't buy a house. So um, always pay rent? It's... Dude, a house is like a never-ending money pit. Um, mm -hmm. In this country, it is. Yeah. Um... I was fixing the dryer. Um, you know, the dryers always need a hose to go outside. Mm -hmm. But the people that owned this house before me always did shit ass backwards. Okay, and so they were the ones that uh, used logic in reverse. Or in other words, don't use logic at all. Exactly. Like a certain place we know. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> place stays trying to uh devoid uh, uh like uh, uh i'm trying to do something i don't know what it is anyway continue <laughs> I'll, I'll let you get your bearings as i explain uh, this boring ass story but like i said don't ever buy a house but anyway i needed to make the hole for the exhaust pipe to go outside a little bigger. So I ran around on Saturday all fucking afternoon just trying to find this fucking piece just to drill the hole to make it bigger so I can put in a new exhaust pipe without fucking shoving it in there like Hulk. And <laughs> that sounds yeah. riveting. So Saturday, it just, so Saturday night, afternoon, night just was just bad. And then Sunday is just, you know, getting things done is just forget about it. I just, you know. Anyway, well, the job is halfway done. So okay, so at it's least I can it, my by by the tone of your voice, I can determine that you're kind of regretting, uh, not just the installing of the hose for the dryer, but a lot of things within that house. It's just yeah, this house was built in like. 70s no it's like 18 something. oh my god i think it was like 1867 like or some shit like that like just past colonial days <laughs> yeah so i mean like it's 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 up is is competing with the age of the uh, of the nation yeah. like uh, how how old is america 200 and something years old uh, i'm 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 getting there 100 and oh, something a oh, hundred and something, uh, almost two hundred. This house was built in eighteen fifty-five. So one hundred and sixty-seven years. Yeah. Sweet baby Jesus. Mm-hmm. Ay ay ay. So, you know, doing things in this house is not easy because it's just and you're dealing with all the things and even if they made upgrades to this it's just they the people that uh, owned the house before us i, I would imagine the electrical which, system is just aces it, it's not they redid it like the people that owned the house before us which were relatives 
she always liked things nice. So she, her husband always had it, always had to upkeep the house mm-hmm. to make things nice. But, so, certain but he things... didn't do it smartly. He mm. didn't do it. He didn't hire anyone. He did it himself. In this. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. So another Bob Vila. That's a whole <laughs> reference right there. <laughs> so it's just so it's like they they extended the house like this house can be considered too bad. Sorry, sorry. I, I, the the actual reference should have been another Tim the Toolman Taylor. <laughs> what a old Tim. Tim the Toolman Taylor. That should have been the reference because Bob Vila actually fixed this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this yeah, t- yeah, he, this house ain't fixed. Uh-huh. So, uh, there we go. So it's Tim every, the Toolman Taylor hour. Okay. Yeah, gotcha, just, gotcha, every gotcha. Time you, you do any project on this house, it's just, it's just harder. It's just, it's just yeah. I'm just going to leave it at that. Just people, mm-hmm. if you buy a house, buy a turnkey ready. Don't, don't buy an old mm-hmm. house. It's not worth it. Yeah, and uh, I don't think... That, that, what what was the name of that show that they used to rebuild the entire house where the entire family was going through crap? And it's always this guy with the spiked hair that had more spiked hair than Goku and, and Gohan in the entire uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z clan. I, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't remember that show. Name yeah, show. That, but yeah, uh, you know, memory comes and goes, and especially that show was like very short lived, I guess. I mean, I, it yeah, would be we, imagining that you are fucking building houses <laughs> for fucking people on well, TV. Yeah, I mean, that 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 show must have had a lot of fucking money and insurance. And, yeah. And, and where and, are you getting this money to buy this house? The Colombian cartel. <laughs> <laughs> Powder City. The cartel, the cartel was like, "Fuck this shit. We we can't be spending money on building we're, people's houses anymore. We need Fuck to that. we need to show. buy guns and ammo and and, 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 and Colombian blow." <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, buy buy key turnkey ready people just just or newer house that doesn't require a lot. I mean, the only good thing about this is that it's natural gas and it's not oil, and I'm not spending thousands of dollars in oil in the winter time. Tear it down! Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got to live, a, got, got to live somewhat uh, the experience over there. Got to live somewhat the experience there. And, uh, and I I, 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 no, I love that convent. I mean, there was no heat. <laughs> I love the town. It's just too goddamn expensive, bro. I love that comment. There was no heat. So I just, he let it sleep. Anyway, you're fine. Exactly. I mean, I, I love working my my, my behind off, uh, freezing my hands off, uh, w- wondering if in the next day if I was going to keep some of my index fingers. Bro, I got that, bro. I live, I own my own house in my living room. It's cold as fuck in the wintertime. Uh, well, we're getting there now. Uh, we're getting the 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 prequel to to winter, which is called fall, which I actually I like. I love the fall. I like it too. Yeah, it's it's Give cool. Me a chance to, to rock my my husky babu um, hoodie. Mm. So you got the hoodie then? No, so, I will be. Okay, so those of you are listening, that gives me a, gives me a reason to wear that. Go. We always post the link on the description of the podcast. It's always there, so you have no excuse. I say, "Where's the thing? I didn't know where the thing." Go to the link the of the thing. podcast. If you're listening to this, there is a link, so you can click on it and find said hoodie and other goodies as well. I'm probably gonna be getting my coffee mug too. There you go. See, even coffee mug. So I need coffee. There Especially up here in the winter time, it's cold as hell in my apartment. There you go. So, you know. Do you also chip. have the email just in case the guy asks questions, man? You guys got to email us. Oh yeah, well, let me. Always gives us, you know, oh, gives yeah. us something to talk about. Give yeah. me, give us some topics to talk about. So we can yeah, because years of this, we, we this might podcast. be boring your asses uh, by just talking gibberish here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is okay. back for some reason. Yeah, but they keep you keep because they're masochists. Anyway, <laughs> uh, 
The email is thehuskybarbu at gmail.com. So uh, you can write there for uh, yes, questions, uh, topics. topics that you wish to uh, for us to discuss. Let us know. Uh, we're also on social media, you know, uh, Husky Barbu Pod at uh, Instagram and Twitter. Do not look for us on Facebook for the love of God and humanity. You won't uh, find us. Uh, there is actually a Facebook page, but it's for the Husky Babu. Yeah, but it's practically non-existent because who who goes there? No one. So there. Uh, anyway, see, you just taught me something new, and I'm half the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, our personal so uh, social media accounts, you know, that Ariel Duran at Instagram and Twitter, and yours, Johnny Boy Four Two Six on Instagram. Don't find me on Facebook. I don't do Twitter. Yeah, you, you can even DM us questions if you have them. If you don't remember the podcast, um, the email of the podcast, you hit us up in the DMs. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, that's uh, the information section of the podcast, so you can know where to hit us up, as they used to say. Hit us up. <laughs> hit us up, not actually hit us, because we, that's odd. Like, like, <laughs> hi, boom. <laughs> What's up, man? What's good, son? <laughs> oh, I blocked out your eye, didn't I? <laughs> you missing a tooth? Uh, anyway, so uh, our favorite subject, uh, movies and what did Vince McMahon fucked up this week? Or who he fucked this week? That's what it actually should be the, the actual subject matter. Uh, uh, no one that we know. Well, probably he did. Especially, look, oh, we, we were talking about this before we started recording that. You know, this Wednesday, past Wednesday, Vince McMahon celebrated his 77th birthday. It was a little gathering of some personal, uh, uh, a private, uh, it was a kind of a private affair. John Cena was there. Brock Lesnar was there. Pat McAfee was there and some other people as well. Also, what was noted is that they took a picture of Vince McMahon being accompanied by a, uh, 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 I won't call her a young woman. Because uh, it, it, it seemed uh, by the picture, it was obvious that she's not in her 20s. She must be like late 30s, early 40s, for what I gathered. On so the younger than her daughter? Yeah. Her daughter, which is 45. Yeah. So you're dating someone younger than your daughter. That's yeah. kind of... Uh, uh, that's kind of a, a, a course of uh, staying the course compared to what the notes we've been reading. <laughs> so late of him so that he's practically learned nothing <laughs> of this entire ordeal and uh and this past wednesday as well cm punk wrestled in AEW because he's an AEW wrestler now wrestled against john moxley formerly known in wwe as dean ambrose because the uh, AEW has this system that if you're the champ and you're and you're hurt you can't defend the title. They don't strip you the title. You keep the title, but what they do is they they make a tournament to declare an interim champ to hold the title while you're out. Then when you come back from uh, your, uh, you know, whatever thing you had, then you have a fight with the interim champion, and then you decide who is the undisputed champion. It's like keep, a way to keep the ball rolling, you know? That that's the yeah. UFC method, and and Punk, uh, he won the championship. Uh, I think it was like in June, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was in June, and he broke his foot. He had a broken foot, so he had to uh, not vacate because WWE would vacate your ass right immediately if you were hurt. Uh, but he weren't making the money exactly. But uh, he kept the title, but there was no champion, so. They made a tournament for the interim title, and John Moxley, formerly known as Dean Ambrose, member of the Shield, won it. So, uh, this past Wednesday, they had a fight, they had a match in, in in AEW Dynamite, and under two minutes, CM Punk lost. Like he was like it. It, it, it seemed like a Brock Lesnar fight. 
Dean Ambrose just gave him two finishers and done. That's it. So the joke waste time. <laughs> and the joke the joke in the internet was that do you think it's uh, is a coincidence that the day that CM Punk loses the title and got buried we, 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 it got buried in that title match is the same day that Vince McMahon celebrated his birthday? Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> There was even people saying he probably that probably was the Viagra that Vince needed for that night. <laughs> that was the Viagra that CM Punk got buried and lost his title. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I got a hard on. <laughs> Come here and take care of this for me, young lady. Come here. Let me show you the genetic jackhammer. Got your name, but that's okay. Come here. Come here. I got something that has your name written on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh Vinnie Mac. You dirty, dirty old man. Vincent Kennedy. So yeah, the, the, the uh also I'm not even gonna go with the whole uh because it, it it's weird that ever since Triple H took over the reins of the creative part of WWE. Mm. The the wrestling world has like the axis has turned the other way around. Whereas when Vince McMahon was running WWE, AEW couldn't do any wrong. It was like no, but at least Vince is not fucking this up. Now all of a sudden Vince is gone, and AEW turns into a shit show. It turns into a fucking shit show because. Uh, now it's like a, a gossip, gossip, gossip. They, this guy hates this guy. This guy hates that guy. This guy, and now Cody Rhodes, who was a, an executive vice vice president in AEW, mind you, when he left, he was one of the bosses, mind you. Now with all of this going on, Cody Rhodes, since he's now been in WWE for a while, but he's not active right now because he he tore his pec. Yeah, that was gross. He tore his pec. <laughs> But Cody Rhodes is looking like a guy that has an IQ of a 350. <laughs> because he left just before that, that, that ship started to burn. He left exactly at the perfect time before everything comes out now. And now it, 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 the, the reports are that like AW, all the, they, they don't know what they're doing. Uh, Tony Khan is like a little mini Vince McMahon, but without the actual acumen of Vince. So he's fucking up left and right. Uh, he has no control of his wrestlers. CM Punk is becoming like a prima donna. Th those are the rumors. I have. Do I believe that it's true? I'm not fucking there. I know. I don't know. I have no freaking idea. I'm just repeating what uh, whatever people are reporting on the internet. But I always take the the reports of the dirt sheets as grain of salt because they've been proven wrong multiple times. But it's, I just find it weird that as soon as Vince leaves, he's out the door. Now, all of a sudden, the competition that was seeming to be the one that was going to slay the beast, which is WWE, and uh, quite frankly, not really, because the, the reach WWE has at this point is like unreachable for other companies to obtain that. I mean, you can unite every single wrestling company in the world and you still wouldn't be 25% as close to WWE is. Because that WWE has a stranglehold on the business that is global. It's worldwide. They it, took out the whole competition and bought them out. And whatever competition exists now is like, it's like playing with Monopoly money, you know? <laughs> exactly, but... I mean, I'm looking at it. I, you know, I, I stopped watching wrestling. We all know that. I I do I talk wrestling because I see you know I read stories there and there, um, and but it might just be that you know you got new blood you got fresh faces controlling this multi billion dollar company, and you got the person Triple H that's running the creativity part of this company, who was born, basically. His character was born in the fucking attitude era. No, so, and, and he's a student of the game. Look, 
If you oh, yeah. watched, hey. if you watch NXT, I know you haven't. NXT back in the day when it was in the WWE Network, because that's where its origin started, uh, like as as known as NXT, because it was before it was Florida Championship Wrestling. It was their developmental program. The Triple H turned it into. He was the one with the idea. He said, "No, let's create a performance center." Like you know that the NFL has the combine, and yeah. the, every every sport has like a a place where you. Well, it was a a better version of tough enough. No, 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 no. Because this place is dedicated for you to develop wrestling skills the WWE way. So it's an actual a, a warehouse where there's a bunch of rings, a bunch of trainers. I mean, you can't go any more wrong than having Shawn Michaels as your head coach. Like, that's, to me, like, you can say whatever you want about per- Shawn Michaels and his personal stuff uh, back in the day. He's made some amends about that. But the dude, in terms of wrestling, like pure wrestling. You can't get any better. Like Jesus you said, Christ. You said, it, you said it was as good as anybody. You can't. That dude, the, dude is a legend. Like the, the the only other guy that I can think of can be in his level is, is Bret Hart, and unfortunately Bret can't go the way. I mean, Sean is in his mid fifties, almost sixty, but he's still in excellent shape. But let's not talk about him coming back into the ring because I don't. I, I, that kind of yeah. happened a few years ago, and I and I refuse to acknowledge that as actually his last match. This last match was when. In Phoenix, Arizona, against The Undertaker some some years ago, and he retired in that match. Anything that happened after that doesn't exist. It's not, it's, it has to be erased from human memory. Because I that, I do not want to have the, the last memory of the Heartbreak Kid being the crap that was that last match. Any hoodles, you were saying? That's why, that's why The Undertaker <laughs> came back so many times. Because he wanted to have that send off like Sean did, because Sean knew when to retire because he was like, okay, I can still kind of do this physically. But he was at peace with himself and with his career. Taker was searching for that last wave. And by doing so, he fucked up a lot of things at, at the same mm-hmm. time. Like that Goldberg match, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, that- and, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, when I saw that, and, and I thought, they, I thought they, they that he killed Taker. I thought that he killed him. I thought he broke his fucking neck. But but Taker gave him a receipt right away when he did the tombstone. He actually did the real tombstone. He did it for real. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, Taker should have went on. Should have went on top when he was. When his WrestleMania streak was still good, I I day. believe sincerely he should have retired with the Brock Lesnar match in Mania. No, the one the one he lose. lost. He if he, dude, I mean that's it. He was supposed I, to the, win the, that the, match. The streak but... ended. the The streak is over. The, what else do you have? I mean, it, he the doesn't need no belts. Been over. He don't in need no belts. Eyes, he don't need no championship. He don't need no more accolades. The streak is all he had. But I would have never ended it. I would have. Well, that was that go, Brock Lesnar match go, was good. Go talk to Vinnie Mac then. Go talk to him. He but was. The, it, the, it, I think it was up to Taker. Taker will always do whatever Vince ask him to. So and Brock Lesnar didn't need that win. No, he was already destroying people left and right. He didn't need. He didn't need that win. So he should have won that match, or whatever. Lost that match, whatever he, he he lost it. So either he won it or lost it. Put your coat, put your gloves, put your hat in the middle of the ring, and walked out, and never looked back. Like he did with Roman. Yes, that should have been his thing. Just leave it there, walk out, never come back. Never even think about smelling of coming back. Yeah, so but he took advantage of. Oh, Taker's gonna do what I want. Taker's gonna do what I want. And fucking Vinny. I don't. I don't he kept think. Kept calling him every single year. I don't think it's him. it's Vince taking advantage of him. Is because I don't think Vince brainwashes you and Jedi mind tricks you like that. I think like 
dude. It, 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 at the end of the day, is Mark's call. It's the Undertaker's but call. You heard. You just said it yourself. Undertaker is going to do whatever Vince wants. Yeah, but because he's a loyal soldier, but don't take advantage of that either. I mean, the Taker could veto, and he has in the past, by the way, mind you. Like they were, there were wrestling matches that were going to be sent to him back when he was more active. And when he saw the quality of work that some of these wrestlers had, when he had more pull, mind you, might I say, because yeah, of, pull. Because, the guy can do whatever what, the hell he wants. When he had He's more pull, right now. When he had more pull, because when he started, he didn't have that much gas or that much pull, so he just took whatever Vince threw at him and made it whatever you know, trying to make a chicken cha- uh, salad out of chicken sh- shit kind of deal. And uh, but. In his later days, when he had more pull and he saw people that were not that good, he was like, yeah, I'm not working with this piece of shit. Yeah, because he didn't want to get himself killed, but... But at he... the end, he was... I apologize. You could yeah, tell... He, he's I, killing I, me here, too. Dude, uh, it's just that it's been a, a hard weekend. <laughs> I've been... I've been been hard, hard, dude. Oh yeah, I, I'm I, I'm the I'm the quintessential Van Wilder here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, was the Reigns match before Brock Lesnar? After. Okay, so it, I, I was watching the last Friday, and because you know, it was Bra- uh, the, a while ago. Uh, he was the second the second loss in in, in the streak. Okay, so that, yeah, because I remember Undertaker saying, like, is is Lesnar the one I need to lose it to? Because he goes, I'd rather, you know, I'd, give, I'd rather have given it, you know, give it to someone that really needs a career lift. Roman did. And, but not that version of Roman. Yeah. It so, would have been the version now, the tribal chief. Jesus, that would have been... The exclamation point right there, but Vince took a while to see the light on that one because he he wanted Roman to be his new next John Cena, and that's the problem. You can't be like, for example, you try to make the next Austin. You can't make an Austin. You can't make a Rock. The Rock is the Rock. Austin is Austin. Hogan is Hogan. Bret Hart is Bret Hart. Shawn Michaels is Shawn Michaels. Each in there, even one of these guys so are find your next diamond in the rough. Exactly, each one of these guys are their own thing. They are they have their you can't compare these guys to anyone else. Exactly, you can't compare. They're their own thing. So, the first version of Roman Reigns post Shield was like trying to make him uh, like a cool guy. I don't know what the hell was the the the, the, the mentality of trying to turn him into something. But it didn't work. And Roman hit all cylinders once he turned a bad guy, once he turned heel, and started this tribal chief thing. Thing, sorry. (laughs) So once he became the tribal chief, it's like we're off to the races. The dude is printing money now. He's printing money, literally. To the point that they even turned him into a part-timer now. He had got the Hulk Hogan deal. Yeah, but see, that's the creativity. Like, Vince McMahon probably struck gold on that. But yeah, now, but it, uh, after right multiple H, H, after you, multiple false uh, false finishes, you know. Well, what you what you need to do is basically just find what the guy does good, and let him be. A couple of stories, let him be, and if it doesn't work, you change it. Exactly. You can't. You can't just keep changing but some now changing them and changing them and change. You just have to find out. You need to let that person be who they are. Look, and see how that works out. Now, as things stand right now, I mean, I'm I'm even watching some Raw again. That's how, in some SmackDown, that's how much things have changed. I mean, I wouldn't, you would have caught me dead watching Raw or SmackDown. You wouldn't caught me, like you wouldn't find my body decomposing, being eaten <laughs> by worms, and in, in the TV with Raw on it. You, that wouldn't happen. Because my dead body would have changed the channel. My dead carcass would have changed the channel. That 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 much conviction I have about that kind of sort of thing. But now, Raw is becoming watchable. SmackDown is becoming watchable. And it's because this dude, Triple H, knows what 
the heck he's doing. He knows what he's doing. He's he is uh, seemingly, uh, seemingly uh, uh, like he's combining all the stories that are happening and not having that much commercial, uh, uh, having this much breaks between like, oh, going backstage, going this and that. It's like it's a, 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 a fluent motion of events. Like everything is happening. Everything is connected. Everything is working at the same time. And it's more fluid. And the product now has more wrestling. Because before it was like you're watching a telenovela. You were watching like a Mexican soap opera. And you wanted to bang your head into the wall. Like Christ. Somewhat of an attitude error. So now. And no, they're not going to go back to PG. Uh, to PG. Uh, uh, uh to uh what is it uh they're not T-14, gonna go uh, yeah no, no they're not gonna go back to t14 they already decided that they're they're staying pg i don't know how long you're gonna survive doing that no i mean look aw does not, does have t14 aw does because they say a lot of curse words in aw they they even some f-bombs they release some f-bombs in the show as well and a lot of hand gesturing you know <laughs> yeah but i'm not i'm not saying but you know that warner that brothers means, i'm talking about the wrestling style i know i understand but what i'm talking about is that so you can see that the playing field is now getting more or less the same because aw had that advantage over uh, the, uh raw and smackdown wwe that mm-hmm. in wwe you you rarely see them curse now that's a rarity i mean it happens like Maybe two or three times a year now. Whereas in AEW, that's like every Wednesday, every Friday, <laughs> the curse. It's just like it's like watching ECW back in the day. <laughs> anyway, but uh, the Warner Brothers told uh, AEW like, yo, this is a family. TNN, TNT, and TBS are family sh- uh, programming. So tone that shit down. They told him like no more like, tone that cursing down. But they didn't say anything about the blood. So John Moxley's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that dude that dude just walks into the ring and he starts <laughs> <laughs> spray painting blood all over the freaking people. Just walking down the aisle. Anyway, so yeah, God, I guess this one became a wrestling podcast. Jesus Christ. Uh, any movies that you've seen recently that I can educate you in? <laughs> I haven't seen anything. I um, I do want to go out and watch. The uh, Netflix came out with uh, this new Kevin Hart one. I know you probably you're more of an action person. I'm more. Uh, I like comedy. Uh, I, I'm I'm very stuck in my old ways and yeah. not watching much of the new stuff. That's the Kevin Hart with Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, mm. that looks pretty good. Um, I want to watch She Hulk. So you're telling me that never, that Kevin Hart can actually it. do a movie without The Rock? Kevin Hart was doing a couple movies with The Rock. Because the them dudes was, it seemed like they'd be married or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because they're printing money. I know, but you know, you, you gotta give it a rest for a while, so. Keep the people wanting more and then come back. But if you keep doing like 13 movies together. People are going to be like, oh, yeah, another That's Kevin Hart. To just call a, call a town and be like, I want to do my Netflix special. No, special. I know. Look, Kevin Hart, I know he farts and he prints money. Yeah, that that, that dude is. He farts. He farts and that's 2.5 million already yeah. in his bank account. He He's on my list to want to see live. Um, I just know type of fan base that he has that I probably wouldn't enjoy being around all of them. <laughs> so, um, so, you know, I just, I probably would never go unless he's like, comes around here and it's, you know, the fan base would be people around here. Mm. Um, Like I said, I want to watch Seahawk. I've, I've avoided Seahawk like the plague because of all the woke stuff that um yeah mm-hmm. like look uh you have your perspective and god bless and i haven't said anything publicly or or anything like that it's just that you know 
the ham the hard fisting thing about it you know like very in your face it's the same thing that people complained about 30 years ago about the evangelicals and the right wing stuff being so forced down your throat and that's what i don't like like you can be that i don't care you can be you can have your perspective and god bless and continue to do so but just don't assume that everybody is consuming that or that is the only way you know just don't assume that diversify like i liked it before when there wasn't any of that stuff mixed into your entertainment you know what i mean like it it, it satisfied all groups it didn't cover all that stuff because it wasn't necessary because you don't give a damn what it was their personal life and whatever you just was watching this for the action for the story that was being told and that's it well you, that's what sells now is being into everyone's business no it isn't because uh, the comics will tell you that ever since they turned superman's son into gay uh and i apologize uh the sales have tanked to the point that nobody's buying comics anymore nobody and i'm one that i have a freaking collection in my back of comics and i can tell you exactly when i stopped buying comics it was just Like about when the year started, I stopped buying comics because I'm like, okay, well, so obviously you're not buying it because they made them gay. It's no, just... it's not that. It's just the ham fisting of it, you know, the 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 hard sell of it. Like, no, this is like I have no problem with characters being gay. Like Batgirl has been Batwoman, sorry, has been gay forever. From the beginning. Batwoman has been always gay. That character's always been gay. No problem. Rene Montoya, a Dominican character in the Batman lore. She was a detective in, in Gotham PD and then became The Question, a character created by the co-creator of Spider-Man, Steve Ditko. The original question, not the one that is now that is a woman. Rene Montoya, she's a lesbian. I have no problem with that. It's just that this character, Jonathan Kent, the son of Clark Kent, There was no inkling, no showing, no... Because of the other characters that I mentioned before, yes, the, the inkling and the, the inclination was shown from the very beginning, and, and it showed a natural progression towards getting to that. With Jonathan Kent, Superman's son, it was like one day they decided, okay, he's gay. Like, no, tell me something that makes more sense. The other offense that I found it making tim drake bi uh, bisexual there was like and i'm sorry i'm going on around here <laughs> and especially for characters that don't exist <laughs> they're not real and i don't give <laughs> and shouldn't get don't and shouldn't give a damn about what they do well, but but tim drake effed stephanie brown the the one of the one of the other bad girls and she was also known as spoiler They probably effed I don't know how many times. So a dude that was getting a healthy dose of vitamin D or giving a healthy dose of vitamin D to a girl. So he was getting a lot of punani? Yes. He was giving that woman vitamin D all day, every day. And then all of a sudden, oh, I like dudes too. I'm like, where did this come from? You you know what I mean? Maybe he wants some vitamin D now. He was but, giving it but, out. Okay, he okay. He needs but, but, but you understand what I'm trying to say, though. Yes, I understand what you're saying. It's, it's like... Just, it's the just society a, is shoving it down your throat because it, they think that... Now, now, don't it's get me just... Wrong. No, no, and again, we don't, I ain't got no problem with that I have whatsoever. No problem. I have a family member. That's bye. I have no. It, and there's no look. What you are, no what you are, you are what you are, you are what you are, and that's I, it. It's well, just the hand fisting of it all. The 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 making it, it exactly you, writing it in the story in in like, in writing it in gradually. Yeah, they're just saying or okay, boom or why don't you create your own gay character and make him. Okay, from the beginning, but don't grab an established character with lore or history. Like the same thing they did to Iceman in Marvel. Because we're going to go, we talk about DC, let's go to Marvel. 
they turn Iceman gay after 50 years of him giving D to half <laughs> half the mutant population. And then all of a sudden he's gay? Like, when did that happen? This dude was slinging dick left and right. <laughs> he was slinging dick. And then all of a sudden, no, no, he likes. Oh, he slings dick, but he now has another preference. <laughs> He wants it to come his way. <laughs> oh um, my god! No, I I know where you're coming from. I you know I. It, it, society is different now, and I have no problem with it. It's yeah, just, uh, it's just the indoctrination of it all that I am not a hundred percent behind. They can they can. Ha- I'm not saying don't have gay characters. I'm not saying do not create gay characters or stories. And you can even make a discussion uh, 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 discussion about, well, how else we're going to get uh, tell our story if we didn't use characters that uh, have more influence. But I'm like, okay, that's an excuse, though, because all you need to do is write good stories. Just write, like you said, <laughs> write a new character. Do a to good story. To this character. Exactly. Do a good story. Good, uh, do a good story. You can do these things, but if you do it right, if you do it well, if you write a good story, it just don't grab a character and say, oh, I want this guy gay. Why? Because. No, just introduce. You're telling me to that we need a gay, gay more character. You make your own character. Exactly. Put a story behind it. And if we need to introduce it to a story that's already doing it, you're rewriting. You're rewriting story. Exactly. Okay. You rewrite. That's my point. So they're, they're rewriting history. Like for example, what was a a perfectly known gay character in the in DC Comics? Harley Quinn. She's a lesbian. Well, no, actually, she's bisexual. She's bisexual. Yeah, she's bisexual because she loves the Joker and also Poison Ivy. And, Bo- and Poison Ivy herself also is bisexual. So those are two characters that as as the day is long, everybody knows that what is their deal. I mean, they prob- they didn't even in the animated series, they didn't hide it that well. <laughs> it wasn't hidden that well. You can infer like, yeah, these two like each other a little too much. <laughs> Just a tad. Just a tad. Yeah, un, un poquito. They, they like each other. Un poquito, un poquito. Just a bit. Just a tad. No. These two straight up were doing things that we're not going to mention. <laughs> we're going to keep it PG here, just like the WWE. Uh-huh. Well, we haven't been PG. We, we've said a, lot, uh, a few cuss TV words. TV 14 slash okay. PG. Okay. Yeah, the ship is being run by Tony Khan, hence why. It is what it is. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I can I can see where it is. I mean, at the end of the day, like you said, I like the way you put it. Create a new fucking character. Tie yes. it to a character if you need to. It makes you it, it, it go work. Go earn your money again. Exactly. Don't that, don't grab your, don't your grab something. To, don't grab something and tell do anything. Yeah. Don't grab something established. That has this already established lore and then try to fit it your narrative. You know? No, like we are all different. All of us are. And you have to respect the fact that no and they you then they can argue and say, Well, not all of the characters are gay. Yeah, I know. But don't be trans like again, the Tim Drake thing is that's the one that 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 that, that got boggles my brain because I'm like the didn't this dude do Stephanie Brown like, like he was like he owned her like she was his personal piece to use like he Vince McMahon her, <laughs> and then all of a sudden he's like, oh you know what this thing that I'm just giving to this girl why don't I take it? <laughs> hmm. I was like. Oh my God! I mean, yes, there are such things that bisexual dudes that go both ways. I mean, Marlon Brando was bisexual. Uh, Dean, uh, uh, this dude, uh, uh, James Dean was bisexual. Apparently, Hollywood was just a, a, an amalgamam of bisexual dudes or just straight up gay. 
back in, in the olden days. But they had to keep it hush because of the times were different and all that. All the times were a lot different back then. Yeah, no, I know. And I, I feel bad for most of those guys. I mean, some of them just lived it very openly and didn't they just like for example, you did you know that the bat the Joker from the nineteen sixty six bat uh, T V Batman series, you know his name Cesar Romero? He played he played the Joker in that series. Mm -hmm. And he had a, a famous mustache, and he painted it, just painted white over the mustache to cover it up. But he never he he refused to shave the mustache. That mm -hmm. dude was gay as fuck. <laughs> he was gay Whatever. as fuck, and Whatever makes him happy. And and you know what was his nickname? He was so gay that they everybody gave him the nickname Butch. that was his nickname and when they asked and he lived openly his gayness back in those days and nobody wrote about it because he was like he was like everybody loved to hang out with him like he was like a guy of the street loved to hang out all the parties he was always there he well, was usually people who are the party exactly he was the party they, they don't give a damn what people would think of them they just uh, live life and he was a, an excellent dancer. All the women wanted to dance with him. That's why every night he was... Uh, and that's probably what also uh, kept secret his uh, lifestyle. Because every night he just... He had the... Any woman in Hollywood just wanted to dance with him. So, and when they uh, showed the pictures of all the women, all these fancy Hollywood actresses back in those days, just wanted to dance with him. Okay, so his reputation was secured, you know? They probably would think, oh, this dude, he's slinging dick here like he was. <laughs> but he wasn't hiding it, so. Yeah, but to the general population, they just thought that he was straight as hell, not knowing that it was the opposite. But that's neither here or there. What I'm saying is that, you know, live your life, be you. Uh, none of us have... And again, it, 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 that rant that I went there is not against that lifestyle or whatever. It's just that, you know, if you're going to write a story, make it a coherent one. One that Don't makes be sense. Lazy. Don't be lazy. Don't be grabbing established characters just because you want to keep your agenda going. You can do you can tell your story with your own characters, create your own characters or. Or check the field and see what characters are are kind of, you know, uh, well, this one is kind of ambiguous. So let's go on here. I love, and I don't know, like, you know more of the comics, but Miss Marvel, mm -hmm. the one that came out on Disney Plus. Now, was that an original comic book or that something that they created? No, th that character has been existing for a while, but. That character it, it was created oh, with like, that culture. Yeah, the because character. I love what they've been doing with that, like Disney. Like I don't know, because I don't know if you know that Carol Danvers, the actual Captain Marvel, uh, she was the original Miss Marvel. Okay. Because the the original Captain Marvel was a dude. It was a blonde dude. And his name was Marvel, and he was a an a, a, a Cree, so he was basically Superman with throwing rays. You know, mm. he was basically super an alien. He was a Cree, and his name was Marvel, but he died of cancer. So, the t the title of Captain Marvel was up in the air for a while, and it was covered from one guy or another. But then. Uh, Marvel in the mid two thousands decided to give it to Carol because they're like, well, she has the powers, she has the exact powers as Marvel. Why don't we just graduate her finally into becoming Captain Marvel, and she can be Captain Marvel now? I mean, she's been Miss Marvel for decades and wearing the most skimpy outfit this side of Psylocke <laughs> from the X Men. She was wearing that type of suit, that mm -hmm. type, that type of suit. Like it, she looked like Psylocke from the X Men, and you know the Psylocke is basically not, does not give any give in the imagination department. <laughs> you know, 
So, uh, so she was wearing like that. She was only wearing the like, even even to the to, to the red bow in the, in, in, in the waist. Even that. Even that. So Carol Danvers was very skimpy dressed, and they finally graduated her to the look that you more or less see in the movies now. So she became Captain Marvel. So the Miss Marvel position was uh, available. So Marvel in a good. I and I will say this a good decision on their end to show diversity and whatnot. Gave it to a Muslim kid, a kid that that, that I like the, that whole idea. Even um, oh my God, I can't believe the name although, of the show came out. Oh, although her powers in the comics are much more different than in the in the TV series, a lot more different because basically her powers are like Mister Fantastic. A less uh, yeah. elongated arms and stuff, you know, mm-hmm. not showing burst of power and stuff. She doesn't do the whole burst of power thing, you know, you know uh, shooting stuff and anything like that. Mm-hmm. And I think also she is like in in the series implied spoilers for those who haven't seen the series, a mutant. Well, I mean, the show made it seem like that whole bracelet thing. Yeah, but uh, she has some uh, gene- type of yeah, genetic genetic in her. So uh, yeah. uh, probably the bracelet is only enhancing what is already in there. Yeah, and Moon 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 Knight. Moon Knight. Another yeah, there's, there's another old character, and he's like a psychotic version of Batman, but with like yeah, three but different. Yeah, I like how. I don't know. Like I said, that's why I'm asking you. Like, is it? The, like I don't know if you've seen it, the the show. I but... have an idea of the show. Uh, Moonlight is not. I I never been that big in that type of lore of that character. No offense to the character, like he's gonna get offended. Like uh, an imaginary character is gonna get offended. <laughs> but... No, but it just seems like he, just the culture and and just like the different actors and mm-hmm. like they're bringing light to him. Like he almost has like a. Like three or four different personalities. Yeah, but that also yeah, that, goes with what's going on with the world now. Like you don't like back then. You didn't know what a learning disability was, or you didn't know what ADD was. Like now in the world, people are still trying to learn all this stuff now. Like, and we got ways of trying to like test feet kids and pills and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That to me, bringing that to light now was Marvel's good thing. Like you know, having a um the girl that played Miss Marvel, her culture, and how that how that played a part. Like you're just to me, you're spreading the love of just different cultures. Like you don't have to be white, you don't have to be black, you don't have you know, you can be a superhero no matter what color your skin is, where you come from, where your culture comes from, what you speak. It's yeah. just, to me, they, they're just doing a good job to me. I mean, that's why I'm asking you, did Miss Marvel was originally from yeah. that type of culture background? Yes, she was. Yes, she was. The only and thing she, that they altered was just her uh, the power level, but everything else is pretty much exactly as in the comics. But I love how they just bring like I don't know if you've seen the show, but they've just brought a lot of awareness to that culture. No, and I, again, life. that's that that I'm okay with because again, you see, a created character, she was created for that particular purpose. So she didn't take up anybody. She wasn't like somebody that you knew before, and then all of a sudden she oh you discover she's Muslim. No, you made that character from the get go that way, yeah. so you you automatically were in the ride, knowing what's going on. But with these other characters that I mentioned earlier, they they like a one eighty, you know. Yeah. They just you were going through a a stream, and then all of a sudden the stream goes backwards. <laughs> See, you can do so much. Like, like that's why I love how Disney bought Marvel, made it. And just created this streaming platform that you can take these characters, you have their story, but now you're putting it into a picture 
and you can add shit to it that yeah okay it wasn't in the comics but you're putting something creative onto the side of it no no or uh, you're displaying some type of different light to the to the thing like like i could understand why you can see like oh damn they really fucked up this character but i could think be like Damn, that's really cool what they did to this character because you read the the books and you read the comics and you know so much of the comics. But I like how they can shed different light towards different things and add to, no, no. to, the, to again, the comic more than what it is. Again, it j- just keep it respectful for the source material. Like, for example, the best thing that they ever did for Spider-Man was creating Miles Morales. Because now... With Miles, you get the minorities. My, Miles is half Puerto Rican, okay. half black. Like, that's a very interesting perspective to view a, a superhero from. Like, two minority groups, and he's mixed into one. Also, they gave him more power levels than, than the original Spider-Man because he has the, the Venom thing and also the invisibility ability. Wow. I can't say I that learned, one twice. I, <laughs> the game was awesome. I, I learned a lot from that game and that character. So Miles is like a very unique character within the Spider-Man lore, and he's his own thing. That's what I'm telling you. Like, you want to make stuff to explain certain things and make them to see that point of view? Then make them. Don't turn a character into something that they weren't. That's like my complaint right now with Punisher. You know what they did to Punisher? They neutered him because he's not woke. He doesn't fit the profile for the new world order now. So what is the point of Punisher? What is the purpose of Punisher? Wasting criminals like a motherfucker. Just gunning them. them down. Mowing them down. With fuck, riddled them with bullets. Leaving them unrecognizable. That's his thing. It, it's not PG. It's not supposed to be PG. That character is out for blood. That's his Deadpool, purpose. Deadpool is not PG either. Exactly. So no, you know what they did? First thing they did, they removed the skull. The skull logo, now it's forbidden. They added it. This is fucking trademark. Exactly. The second thing they did, brace yourself. They took away his guns. No. Nah. Then it ain't the They punishment. turned him into a fucking ninja. No. Nah. He's using swords now. Nah, nah. Fucking swords. Nah. It's like... It's don't, like having... Read, don't it's, take the character away. Don't take what makes the character the character. If you want to, stop making comic books and don't make movies and don't make exactly. shows. And just let the fucking character just sleep in peace. But don't come over here and give him swords and take away you his know, skull and all this. Other, nah, man. Just let, dude, just let him die. Dude, do you know how many times they fucked this character over? Marvel yeah. has like there was one time that they turned him into an avenging angel because he died and they turned him into an angel. So he was th- shooting plasma guns that he had to put out of his trench coat. And it was coming out from another dimension. Yeah. It's like, like, I, I'm like, why are you people not doing Frank Castle? Just like if you don't want if you don't like how the character is, just let him be. Let him be yeah. like. Like, for example, for example, uh, Aquaman back in the 90s, he became a berserker because they cut off his arm. They cut off his left uh, left arm. They cut it off from here. So he stayed with. So they added that stupid harpoon on him and then he became a berserker. What happened? People liked it at first because, okay, we're getting like our version of Punisher, but in the sea. And then that idea died off because it's. You know, it's it's a thing. It's not going to be catching up for everybody. It's not everybody's cup of tea. So what happened to the character? They stopped publishing stories about Aquaman because nobody gave a damn. You know, so they let it die naturally. And then when there was interest in bringing back the character in one way, they brought him back. And then when they died off again, they let him die off again. Then they bring it back. So if you have no uh use for frank castle and you're just gonna neuter him and chop off his dick <laughs> exactly what they do you're gonna chop off his dick and, 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 and turn him into a hermaphrodite or something i don't know like 
Well, fuck. Leave the character be. Don't let him be there. And uh, pick him up later when people have more blood craze, uh, um, have blood craze again. You know, <laughs> when people are, are bloodthirsty again, then bring back Frank. I mean, uh, I wonder why they haven't made a season two or season three on Disney. Oh, because the the character, uh, I, I don't, I don't know if uh, John Bernthal would mind to coming back for the character but uh, it, not the way it is now but i don't want him to be turned into whatever the hell they did now nah, they, they, he won't come back to do what they did to him now i didn't even know that so you dude I, it, i'm it, only waiting for uh, shows wait let, I, i'm the big reader <laughs> let me let me look uh, uh, an image of punisher 2022 okay let me see if I can find... Oh, yeah. Here it is. Uh, I'm going to send it to you now so you can see. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I see it. It's holding a sword. Uh-huh. Two swords. Yep. That's that's special. And that, and that stupid logo that they made for him. That, that that totally looks so Yeah, they they fucked them up. They nerfed Let the character let the character just die in peace right now. They Bring totally him nerfed him. You can put that skull char- that skull thing in and give him his uh give him his freaking guns back cuz no. He he's about clipping people. He's not about slicing people. His thing is about clipping people. I'm like, oh, that's too violent. Well, well, he ain't a fucking ballerina. Yeah, that's just forget about it, dude. It's just, what they did to him. Let him die. Anyway, that well, character just live in peace. And with that sad ending, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're gonna cut it up to here. Okay. Uh, once again, the description for the T Public Store where you can get mugs, T-shirts, hoodies, stickers, phone cases, laptop cases. Whatever the heck you want. Even notebooks. Yes, if you're old school and refuse to write down stuff on your iPad or whatever tablet you may have, you can, and you want to write stuff on traditional pads, guess what? We got that shit there for you, too. Go to the Masks. T-Public store. Mask as well, if you're still masking. I mean, you use public transportation. There's a chance that you are required to use masks. So, yes, uh, use those. You can buy those uh, you, and use the designs. That are available there on a T Public Store. The the link will be there in the description. Once again, uh, if you want to send us emails, any suggestions for subjects that we can talk about in the podcast, whatever you would like, please send that to the husky at gmail.com. Also remember that our website, huskybarboopod.com, where you can get all the other previous podcasts that have been around. This is number 85, so you can get 84 of those podcasts there. If you don't like to, you know, get the podcast somewhere else, you can get them all there. Remember also our social media, Husky by Boo Pod, both on Instagram and Twitter. My personal account, that Ariel Duran uh, on Instagram and Twitter. And Jonathan, your social media for the people. Johnny Boy, J O N I B O Y 426 on Instagram. There you go. So. We've given you all the places where you can check us out and talk about and send us information as you please. We will also, I'll try to leave in the description of the podcast, this one that's going out now, uh, a suggestion a suggestion box where you can write us up and tell us things that you would like to add for us to speak about and if you enjoy that kind of thing. So again, this has been the Husky Bible pod, uh, Podcast. This has been Ariel and... Jonathan. And we shall, you shall hear from us next week. God willing. Hopefully. Peace out, everybody. Take care.